photograph what's around you, what you love. That might be a good recipe for creating art that matters. At least art that matters to you. And if it matters to you, it might just resonate with other people. Javi Garcia's work with film photography definitely resonates with me. I've been following his Instagram for quite a while now, and I think his images have this unique quality of intimacy, whether they're just pictures of his friends or architecture that he finds interesting. I know that as photographers, we tend to get caught up in gear and precision and technique, but I wonder if sometimes we just forget to let go and create. I know that I can be guilty of that. So I asked Javi if we could get on his turf in Dallas, Texas, take some pictures and talk about uh, letting instinct guide us when we've got a camera in our hands. The night before we set out with our cameras, I asked him, how should I mentally prepare to be spontaneous? I don't think that you should really think of it uh, that hard. Letting go is gonna be like what we do tomorrow is just be free and shoot whatever we feel like. Now for this shoot, I brought along my Nikon 35 millimeter, but I was curious, like what do you, what kind of advice do you give to somebody who's just starting out, who doesn't even know what camera to start with? Javi says, just keep things simple. Just getting out there and shooting film in and not caring about any gear. That's funny because this is coming from somebody that has like decent sized vintage camera collection. But I think that now I'm, I'm noticing that I like camera with less control. I really like shooting Diana cameras. The work that's coming from those toy cameras is at, at times more powerful, but I would say that, yeah, just get like a disposable camera and just start shooting what you know what you see around you what you love get out there and get comfortable we met up at cultivar coffee shop where it so happens that javi's got some of his photography on display some beautiful work featuring the things and people that make up his life another good tip for capturing the people and things around you the things that probably matter most to you is to get people used to the idea that you've got that camera with you all the time eventually they're going to react differently when you point that camera at them. That's when you're gonna start getting pictures that look more real and unposed. Desensitize them with the fact that you're, you know, just pointing camera in their face all the time and, and, and then you really find some, some nice moments, you know, when that guard drops and I feel like I've gotten lucky, you know. The friends that I shoot photos of and, you know, the, the people I love. All right, now it's time for me to start taking photos without overthinking it. I, I think it's gonna take a little bit of practice. So I'm showing like something that's already like the original structure, like the original structure. And then look, there's construction there. Is that, is that gimmicky or should I even worry about that when I'm saying that might be a cool shot? Yeah. I don't think you should worry at all. I all think, right. I think trusting your instincts and just taking the shot because you, you never know, you know, uh, I think, you know, we, we surprise ourselves all yeah. the time. I'm going to take the picture. Yes. All right. In the city, you'll you'll see found objects like this, oh and it's like, gosh, what yeah. what are, what are these doing? You told me that you made a conscious decision to give yourself fully to film. I thought that it would it would get me on the fast track to becoming a better photographer. But you could have made the choice to do both, right? Sure, At yeah. the same time, but you chose not to, just so that you'd have that singular focus? So that I could uh, essentially try and master something. And, and I know that that's, you know, uh, maybe a pipe dream to become a master, but um, I think that the knowledge that I have obtained since, you know, co committing to film is, is pretty, uh, I'm pretty proud of myself. When you see something like this, do you pass it up because you know that the picture's been taken a million times before? In other words, if, if I pointed the camera at it right now, all I see, all I'm thinking to myself is, how many times has the same picture been taken? And there's nothing, nothing to say about it that you can't say by just standing here. I think that you could definitely, you know, uh, make something out of this. You know, you could get like extremely close and just look at the curvature, the lines, um, you know, there's shadows here. This is like the fundamentals of photography is, you know, make something out of uh, the, the mundane. By itself, it doesn't move me, but it would be worthy of a challenge of uh, trying to create something more out of it.
And then go ahead and just face straight that way, opposite of the camera. So I'm just getting the back of your head. If you're too far over here, then it's just a shadow. Right. So I guess so I like showing like what's creating the shadow. Right, right. Um, but not too much. I mean, not just like not shooting just, straight, not straight up. On. Uh, you lose the effect of the shadow. Yeah. Yeah, going uh, and, in that line. That and, and just then, like all of a sudden, it's the, the sun came out, yeah. and, and it's great and all, but uh, I'm I may kind of hang back and see if I can get it to diffuse a little bit. Yeah. Then then I might have uh, some detail of the clouds right. versus just complete white. Which I mean I'm not saying is bad is a bad thing, but when we first walked over here, I, you know I was like, ooh, that's really cool. So as you're looking, you're look. Your, both of your eyes are open? Uh-huh. So both of your eyes are open, and so your brain is making up what, it's filling in the blanks here, and you can see. Yeah. Don't tell me you can actually, you're you're seeing the shot. I mean, I, you know, I just. I mean, I, I believe mean, it if you say so. But I mean, I, just, I just imagine that as long as I'm pointing the lens in the right way, so since, you know, the the film plane is, is vertical, right? Right. Um, and I know that, you know, as I turn the camera, it's getting a different angle. So I'm just trying to pre-visualize that angle. And sometimes I'll kind of look at the lens to make sure that it's it's sort of pointed in the right way. And then I'll just kind of get behind it and then, you know, feel like I'm comfortable with that right. that angle. Right. Um, and you prefer that always to look into the viewfinder? No, just actually um, with just with these two cameras, I feel like I've had success with. I mean, also, this thing is so tiny that <laughs> yeah. it's, I mean, it's comical when you look through this. That could get stuck in your eye, the whole yeah, camera. Yeah, I mean, it's it's like, come on, yeah. that, that really yeah, is Yeah, I get it, I get it. It's way more fun to just, you know, yeah. put it out in front yeah. of me and, and take the shot. Do you think you overanalyze ever your own photography? I think I'm over critical of my of my work, uh, but I, I've been trying to be better about that and and just shoot because I love it and I love you know being where I am, the people that are surrounding me, and and just you know be thankful to be alive. As a planner, I think I do kind of struggle with trying to take pictures in such a loose and uh, instinctual way. It is a mental shift, but I think I do get there sometimes. And I think hanging out with an artist like Javi definitely has a positive and encouraging influence on how I do this. I actually had a really great time watching him work, and the, uh, the bonus was that I got some pictures that I really like to take back with me. If you'd like to see more of Javi Garcia's work, I've got a link to his Instagram down in the notes below. Good stuff, definitely give him a follow. And if you like this video, go ahead and click that like button, give us a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, and uh, let us know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.